Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Happy New Year's Day. I hope you guys all had an awesome night last night. I woke up this morning in such a good mood because it is literally the start of a new decade. So if you haven't already set your intentions for this year, make sure you go check out my 2020 goals video. I share with you guys my top five goals for 2020 and I'll leave a link for that in the description in case you haven't seen it yet. Today's gonna be a pretty productive day and I thought I would vlog for you guys. So yesterday I did a little bit of New Year's Eve shopping and I thought I would just do a little haul. This is really not much. I actually only went to this shopping center because I wanted to get a raw juice and it was amazing, but then I decided to hit up some of those sales while I was there. So starting out with Hollister, I don't choose to always go into Hollister. It's just that if I need jeans, Hollister jeans are the only jeans that fit me. American Eagle jeans don't fit me right. I have not found a pair in a long time that I could wear from American Eagle. That's why I still get all of my jeans from Hollister. But guys, I got my first pair of mom jeans, which is crazy. I never actually thought that I would fall into this trend, but I've seen so many people wearing the mom jeans and they look so cute. So I finally picked up a pair. This is what they look like. They're a light wash and they're super distressed. And I love the distressed ends. They're high rise and they actually look pretty flattering on. So I'm really excited to wear these. And I'm gonna go ahead and link these and anything else that I got in case you guys want the exact pair. So it'll be in the description. And then also in Hollister, I found this shirt on clearance, normally $39.95 and it was $24.99. Plus I think it was on sale on top of that as well. And it's just this really pretty white blouse and it has like the bell sleeves. I thought this would look cute with these jeans or even a pair of skinny jeans and like some boots. So I got that and that's it from Hollister. In American Eagle, I went in there to see if they had any of their sweaters on sale yet since Christmas is over but didn't have any really great sales so I just picked up this super soft long sleeve black shirt I wish you guys could feel this because it's literally the softest shirt ever and I just got an extra small for a little bit of a tighter fit normally 30 I only paid 15 for it because all of their long sleeve shirts were 50% off I'm trying to go into the new year with some more basic staple pieces and I thought this would be a really good basic thing to have in my closet and then you can add a jacket a scarf a hat and like different things to kind of switch it up but I love American Eagles shirts because they are really soft and good quality. I went into Ulta. I finally decided to pick up this Becca Backlit priming filter. A lot of people have raved about this primer and I still have not tried it, but I really wanted to give it a try. Everybody says it makes your skin glow, so I will definitely let you guys know if it's worth the money because this was almost $40, so kind of hard to justify spending that much on a primer let alone a foundation. Then I also decided to try out this Tula Purifying Facial Cleanser. The full size one is $28, so I got the mini one for $10, I believe, and I just really wanted to try out Tula Skincare. Everybody raves about it, and I just got the smaller size because you guys know that my skin breaks out very easily, so I wanted to pick a facial cleanser that was on the natural side that had really good reviews, and if I really like it, then I'll get the full size. And then the last thing I got in Ulta was some of these mini beauty blenders because I have a really hard Hard time blending in my concealer around my eye with the full size one so I thought I would get some more of these the last thing I got was from Victoria's Secret pink and I literally just picked up this sports bra because it was $10 like tell me how I'm gonna find a sports bra for $10 it's just plain black with an elastic band and I can never have enough black sports bras so it's currently 9 45 a.m. and I am heading to a nail appointment I was actually not planning on getting my nails done this soon it wasn't that long ago that I got these done but one of my nails broke and my nails are kind of thin and fragile and I don't want to lose the length that I have so I just decided I would go get them done today before my nail breaks but before that we're gonna swing through at Starbucks really quick to grab an iced coffee thank you okay there's not enough almond milk in this iced coffee but I didn't say anything so now I have to live with it. So it's a little bit later. I'm back home now. Just finished getting ready for lunch. Today is actually New Year's Day, but it's also Chad's dad's birthday. So we're going to get lunch with him and I want to show you guys my nails. So I just went with this sparkly opal color and I had her round my nails and I never have my nails rounded like this, but I really like how it looks. It's so much more natural looking than the square. And I would tell you guys this exact color, but I don't know it because she literally combined like two different colors to get the base color. And then she put the sparkles on top. So it's like a concoction of colors. 
colors, but here's what they look like. Here's my little New Year's Day outfit of the day for you guys. This is the white shirt that I showed you in my haul this morning from Hollister. These jeans are also from Hollister. They're just distressed skinny jeans in like a medium light wash color, and then I just folded them up once and wore them with these boots. And I threw on my little fedora from Amazon, and I will link all of this for you guys. It's such a simple outfit, and I always get a lot of questions on pieces when I wear something like this, so I will definitely link it for you guys. We just wrapped up Chad's dad's birthday presents and I found this really cute wrapping paper and then I decided to use a brown paper bag for the other gift because it's just perfect, goes with it. Going in there now to get lunch and we're both definitely getting something healthy because it's a new year and we're trying to eat healthy. We're at the restaurant right now, we're about to go up and order our food, except Chad's still trying to figure out what he's getting. I'm just getting a turkey light. He's trying to get something a little more healthy. So it's a little bit later, we are back home now and I'm about to make chia seed pudding for the second time and I told you guys that I would show you how I was making it once I decided to follow a recipe. So we stopped at Publix and I just grabbed some other ingredients um, pretty much I had everything I just needed to get more chia seeds and I got coconut milk that is sweetened this time because when I went to Whole Foods I accidentally got unsweetened coconut milk and I really think that was one of the key factors that made it not taste good so let's try this again okay if you hear the office in the background Chad's watching the office so here's the ingredients for this one I found this on Pinterest it's a creamy vanilla chia seed pudding recipe and I'm gonna link it for you guys in case you want to try to make it but don't take my word for it until I have tried it because I do not know if this is gonna be good or not. But I have a mason jar, chia seeds, silk, coconut milk, sweetened, vanilla extract, and honey. Just following this recipe and hopefully it turns out good. Two tablespoons of chia seeds. One teaspoon of vanilla extract one fourth cup of water, and then one cup of coconut milk. Then it just says to whisk everything together and put it in the fridge for two hours or overnight. So I'm probably just gonna leave this in there overnight and have it in the morning and I'll let you guys know how it turns out. It's like golden hour right now and Chad and I got the spontaneous idea that we would go to the beach and just watch the sunset and we have not been to the beach since like beginning of the summer. So I got this cold pressed juice earlier. This isn't one of the ones that I got in my vlog with you guys. This is by So Fresco. Shockingly, Publix had way more cold pressed juices than Whole Foods had, so I got this one. It's called So Fresco Taste the Mediterranean. It's apple, lemon, mint, 100% cold pressed, and no added sugar or added water. So this is like straight juices, and I'm so excited. The only ingredients are literally apple, lemon, mint, and ascorbic acid. It is so good. Like you can literally see like the particles. The naturalness of it, the particles, tastes like Chick-fil-A lemonade, which has so much sugar in it, and this has no sugar. That's very good. Isn't it? It has that like really tart taste that Chick-fil-A lemonade has. Here's the label. Check it out at Publix, not sponsored. <laughs> We just got down around the beach area and it is literally packed down here. So apparently everybody had the same idea to go and watch the sunset on the first day of 2020. I thought I was the only one that came up with that brilliant idea, but I guess not. I feel like we're not gonna find a spot and the sun sets at 5.45 and it's 5.13 right now. So I'm starting to panic. There's the beach, do you guys see it? That's as close as we're getting. Wish I could have actually been closer, but. Now for all the traffic on the way back and we didn't even get to see the sunset. We're at Total Wine and plan B is to get some wine, go home, make dinner, and play Super Mario Brothers since we couldn't go to the beach. So we got a red blend and a sweet red. And the sweet red's mostly for me in case I don't like the red blend because I've been really picky about my wines lately. It's the next day, obviously. I did not finish vlogging at all last night. Chad and I came home, we drank some wine, made dinner, we played Mario, and 
we honestly just like tried to make a night out of the fact that we couldn't go to the beach last night. I had a really good morning. I made a green smoothie for breakfast and I just worked on emails and blog related stuff. And now Chad and I are about to go run some errands and we're actually going to FGCU to get my books for the semester. So a lot of you guys are asking if I'm gonna do a video about like how I prepare for the new semester. And I am going to do that. It'll probably go live over the weekend because I have classes starting on Monday. I have classes three days a week this semester, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But this semester should be a little bit easier, I think, than last semester. I mean, last semester literally killed me. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit better for me since there's no A and P anymore. I'm looking forward to it and just trying to get everything set up. I always like to go and get my books before. We just parked on the first floor of the parking garage. Only time that's ever gonna happen. Before school starts. Yeah, once school starts, forget about it. I always end up having to park all the way at the top or in like the dirt lot. So we are back home now and I was able to get my books digitally, which I am so glad about. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and download those and take a look at what I have in store for the semester and I will let you guys know about that. But we stopped at First Watch and I just grabbed a superfoods bowl um, for lunch because I really needed that and I'm so excited. I was craving it. Superfoods bowl with toast and almond butter. So good. It's like my favorite thing in the world right now. Okay, it's a little while later and I signed up for a six o'clock yoga class. So I just changed into my Lululemon Aligns. These are the ones with like the cheetah print on them. And I honestly don't know where this tank is from. I think it's from Old Navy. And then I just have a sports bra and I'm ready to go. I'm so excited. I haven't done a yoga class since like early December. So it's been like almost a month for me. And I'm really excited to get back into it. I just Decided to throw my hat back on because I thought what better time to wear it than when I'm actually going to a yoga class when I get home from yoga I'm just gonna be cooking dinner and editing and uploading this vlog so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here thank you guys so much for hanging out with me the last two days and if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video